Hello, beautiful souls. Well, where does your power come from? Is it, does it live inside of you? Does it live over here? Where do you find your power? So, of course, you know that I'm all about spirit guides and power animals. And look, I even rely on Disney characters. You know, I'm all about that Tigger energy, right? Let's get it pumped up. So, where does your power come from? You know, we think that it's outside of us and we've got to get some power, right? But what if it actually lives in your body? What if it resides inside of you? And what if it's amped up and powered up by your connection to the divine, by your connection to your spirit guides and your spirit animals? So let's start by smudging. All right. So let's get fired up. It's Monday. And if you're back in the, hey Hector, hi Lorraine. So if you're back in that workaday world and you are finding that you're a little low on the energy scale or that you feel a little powerless or that things are not moving in the direction that you want them to move, um, then tap into your spiritual guidance. Tap into your ability to connect with the divine and to live from that heart space. So to start by drawing your essence down into your body. So place your hand on your heart so you can really feel your body. So many of us are completely disconnected from our bodies. So we put stuff in that doesn't actually serve us. Hey, Meg, happy Monday. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so we imbibe, we ingest things that don't support our, don't support us. And we live in a culture, if you happen to be in North America, where it's thought that that's okay, that it's okay to put things into your body, to put things into your mind that don't serve you. But let's shake that up. See that rattle there? All right. And the way that you begin to shift is to let go of the idea that something has to be like it was. Because no change is going to happen as long as you are so attached to your past self, your past way of doing things, and the past. You can't shift when you're so holding on to that, that you have, you're so fearful that you can't drop it and go, what can I step into? Who could I be if I let go of my old self and I moved into that new, higher version of me? What would that look like? Who would I be? You know, in shamanism, that's called shape-shifting. So we shift into, and you'll find it when you come and do um, some courses with me. When you come to Shamanic Spirit School, what you're going to find is that your power animals, your spirit guide, your helpers want only your highest and best or better. Now, can you say that of the two leggeds that are around you? Probably not. So let's raise the vibe. chill gray day here so you wrap yourself up in something that reminds you that reminds you that there is a higher self that you can grow into this higher version of yourself and as a matter of fact what if that's your purpose there's a lot of talk a lot of talk and not so much action about the purpose. So what if your purpose is to live from a higher version of yourself? You already know the version you've got right now. You already can see the results right now. And if they're not the results that you want to see, if you're not the person you want to be, 
then asks for some spiritual guidance, some spiritual help. Talk to your power animals and your spirit guides and ask them. Because this whole idea of becoming something other than you are right now, it's not difficult. I mean, look, I take a step to the this direction. Do you see the difference in what you see right there? It's exactly the same for yourself. When you take a step to the left, you're not that version of yourself anymore. Okay, now you're back to center. Who am I? And then once you figure out who you are, how do you live into that? No, it's not how do you live in that. When you figure out who you are, then you live in that. And you don't worry about the stupid idea of, I don't know how. <laughs> Can you Im imagine a baby sitting on the floor going, I don't know how to crawl, no. <laughs> they just do it, right? So, be as determined as a baby that you can leave crawling and start walking. Because it's our limitations and our limited beliefs about ourselves that stop us from growing into the most amazing beings. Now, you may not like people who have a lot of money, but you know what? I don't think they care. You may not like yourself, but unless you're willing to do something about yourself that you don't like, then you don't really care. Most of us find that a little bit of a hard pill to swallow. That we don't care enough about ourselves to make the changes that would make us the most amazing beings. Hi Rebecca! So what we do, is we stay the same old, same old making same old, same old choices, getting the same old, same old results. So let's raise the vibe, because until you raise your own vibe, until you sit and assess, do a self-assessment, am I the person I want to be? Well, you know, I'm always growing and changing, evolving, and hopefully on an upward scale. So, can you say that about yourself? Can you say, I am the highest version of myself? So, let's raise the vibe to love and You know, you may go, oh, that's not very traditional. That's not very shamanic. Well, it's time for some shape-shifting. It's time for us to not get attached to the old way of thinking about things. It's time for us to open our hearts to the highest version of yourself. Because if you can't open your heart to that higher version of yourself, 
chances are you're not going to be able to embrace it. You're going to spend your time trying to annihilate the parts of you that you don't like. So don't bother. <laughs> just, it's like, you know, when I take off my hoodie, if I just drop it, it's not on me anymore, right? Hey, Maverick. So <clears throat> these shells of being that you are, that are covering up the highest version of yourself. It's okay to drop them. It's okay to not pick them up. It's okay for you to step into the highest version of yourself. And when you have spirit guides, power animals, allies, who want your highest and best or better, they're going to tell you what that version is. They're going to even show you, if you're willing to ask, show me the highest version of myself. And when we walk in that way, when every day we commit to the highest version of ourselves, we stop the distractions of getting caught up in what's going on out there and we start focusing in here then what happens is a shape-shifting you are not the person you were now science has already said this every day something like 300,000 of your cells what's the word, transformed, they're transformed into not being necessary, they're sloughed off, new cells replace them. So what if we envision, what if we use our inner visioning, what if we open our minds to a new way of thinking, what if we drop our old mindset, so the word set, it's a little bit, okay, time for a drink of tea. <laughs> so the highest version of ourself isn't set. It's growing, it's changing, it's evolving, it's ever on an upward uplifting path. But we get attached to what drum it's a it's a rattle rattle and it's a obviously a feather now and it's got cross quarters like that so this logo behind me is the celtic wheel of the year and we're just coming up here this feather here we're on our way there we're almost there this is Samhain Halloween and then the next marker right up here is going to be winter solstice so we are this marks the wheel of the year it marks the tools that I use in my trade and it was created in Bali back in 2006 I believe and <clears throat> I went to Bali determined to be a woman of spirit, a woman in business. So I came back with a, um, you're welcome for the explanation. So I came back with a logo on fabric, batiked in Bali, because that's one of their specialties. It's one of the things that um, you'll see Balinese batiks everywhere. So, at that time, now think about that. We're thinking back 15 years. Gadzooks. <laughs> but the explanation for it and what the symbology is, is still relevant. So we take that along with our higher version of ourselves. 
we let go of anything that's holding us back, any behaviors, <clears throat> any things that you're eating or drinking or smoking or sitting on or whatever. Have you been sitting on an idea for years? Have you thought, oh, it's not the right time? No, it's not the right thing, but you've just been sitting on it? Well, maybe right now is a great time for the highest version of yourself or a higher version of yourself to pick that up, to begin to run with that, to bring that energy into the world. You know, nothing is going to change unless you change. And the most easy and efficient and beautiful and transformative way that I've ever found of changing is through the shamanic journey process. My guides became my therapists. They already knew everything about me, so I didn't have to stop and explain. I didn't have to tell the story again, anchoring it in my body. They gave me wisdom to write the old story quickly, in an hour or less, your whole old story. And once I did that, they said, okay, now bury it, burn it first, and use that alchemical process of putting something on fire and burning it, converting it, changing it into smoke. And when I did that, when I had the ashes, I was able to bury that old story. Now, once you've buried some, something, it has no life left in it. There's no life left in my old story. It's buried. And now from that place, after a little while, after a couple of days, you don't leave it too long, you write a new story. Now the reason it's important to burn, to write, burn, and bury the old story is that your mind will keep on going well, that's not true. You are like that. Well, that's not true. Blah, blah, blah. And when you hear that, you can say, well, that, that part of me is dead. I buried it. And you, from that place of a rebirth, get to choose. How is it that you'd like to live the rest of your life? Because until you inner vision it, it can't be out pictured because you haven't even got a picture in your mind. So this higher version of yourself, what does it look like? What does it talk like? What does it dress like? How does it present itself in the world? What kind of taste does it have? It's not going to be that old <laughs> written, burned and buried. It's going to be something entirely new. You might find that you don't like the things that you lose to like. That some things lose their appeal. So you have the opportunity right there to shift into a newer, higher version of yourself. And if you're not growing and changing every day, you're dying. If you're not learning and growing, Oh, Grandfather Otter. So how is it that you can take this incredible time of shape-shifting? You know, people love to dress up, right? Um, or they don't. But at Halloween, they dress up and they take on a different persona. Well, what if you don't even bother waiting for Halloween? What if you start to live this higher version of yourself? What if you start to walk in the shoes of your highest version of yourself? They might not be comfortable at first. Hi, Melissa. Hey, Celie. So this higher version 
version of yourself isn't going to feel comfortable because you don't know it yet. But the more you get to know the higher, higher, highest version of yourself, what you truly came to be and do, then there's nothing but love. And when you love on yourself, First of all, you put your hand on your heart. You take a breath, you flare out your nostrils and you say, I'm in love with you. And you move from that place of love. You know, if you come here on my door, I have a little three by five, three by three, something like that, that says I'm love. So even before people get into my house, they see that because it's right, it's right at eye level. And so when you tell yourself that, write it on your bathroom mirror. I am the highest version of myself. I am love. I am unconditional in how I support myself. When I find something about me I don't like, I change it. There's no point in dragging around parts of you that you don't even like. Oh, I'm too afraid to change. Well, you know, you already changed from when you went to sleep until right this minute. You sloughed sh off 300,000 cells. You can't be the old you. ready for this when you are. So when you move in the highest version of yourself, when you put on those shoes, when you put on that face, your game face, right? When you go, hmm, I am committed. And what are you committed to? Every day, get up and commit to something. Because if you don't commit to anything, if you commit to nothing, nothing is going to be what you get. So let's raise the vibe. Now take a deep breath. The drum, the rattle. <laughs> The feather, I don't happen to have one right here. Oh, yes, I do. Look, feathers. Okay, they're everywhere. These things are just symbols to remind me who I am. It's just a symbol. And when you align yourself with your spirit guides, with the symbols that remind you who you are. Put things all around your house. You know, usually on my bathroom mirror is a couple of messages about who I am, what I want. Hi, Donna. And how am I going to be in the world? Because if you don't have a vision version of yourself, well, then you're going to be operating out of your lower self, the lowest common denominator of yourself. So if you are willing, <laughs> you're all able. I just want you to know this. You're all perfectly capable of tapping into that higher version of yourself and moving into that. You know what stops you? That lower version of yourself that says, <clears throat> That's not you. You can't do that. And it holds you down until you die. And you keep on being that same old version of yourself. You don't even like it. You don't like it. And yet, the fear of becoming something else stops us. So, we're going to get rid of that by giving away some love, accepting, and receiving. All right, so energize your hands. Get in touch with yourself, with yourself. Put your hand on your heart. 
Your body knows how to do everything. You put stuff in here, it goes down here, it, and it comes out. Your body knows how to do that. Your body's a miracle. Now it's your mind that you've got to train because your mind will go, oh my God, I couldn't be like that. Oh my God, I could never make that. Oh my God, I could never dress like that. Oh my God, I could never say that. And guess what? You're stuck in the oh my God part. So my encouragement to you is to let that go. So we're going to give it away with love. We're going to accept the gifts that we're being given and we're going to put them in our heart. All right, so energize your hands. It's a good day to be cozy. It's a good day to be tapping into your spirit guides and animals. Place your hands on your heart because this body knows everything you need to know. And now what we're going to do is we're going to open fully to give, accept, and receive all that the universe has for me. So, nice deep breath. Feel your chest coming up. Touch yourself. I open fully to give. Give it away, give it away, give it away. Accept and receive all that the universe has for me. One more time. I open fully to give, accept, and receive all all that the universe has for me. Namaste, aho, bliss, follow that. And remember that every day you're changing. So this idea that you cannot be something else, that you can't be the highest version of yourself is nonsense. It's proven every single solitary day since you were born. Now, if you're only 10 years old, you have 3,650 times that you've changed. If you're 20 years old, you double that. If you're 30 years old, triple it. 40, 50, 60, you get the gist, right? Every day you're a changed being. And yet what happens to us is we put our elbows out really, really, really strong and we're like, no, I'm not going to do it. And yet when you soften and put your hand on your heart, what you realize is that you're not who you were yesterday. You aren't who you're going to be, but you can influence that. And this back here is just nonsense. It's over. It's done. It's kaput. So let it lie and fly. All right. I love you. I'll see you. Bye-bye. But wait, in case no one has told you yet today, you are amazing. All right. Bye-bye, everyone. See you tomorrow. Have a fabulous Monday.